the Miami Dolphins have made it pretty clear for a while now that Tua Tungavailoa was the clear starter at quarterback for 2022, but general manager Chris Greer made the boldest statement yet Wednesday. Speaking to a group of South Florida reporters late in the afternoon, Greer slammed the door shut on revisiting the idea of making a trade for Deshaun Watson after I reminded him of his post-trade deadline comment last year about doing due diligence when elite quarterbacks become available and whether that still applied this offseason. I think the door is shut on Deshaun, Greer said. At the end of the day, Mike McDaniel and the staff have come to do a lot of work and studied a lot of Tua and they feel good about his developmental upside, what he can be and then the fit in the offense. I think we're good with Tua. A follow-up question was asked about whether Greer could make a definitive statement that it's Tua all the way heading into the 2022 season, Greer said yes. The Dolphins were interested in making a trade for Watson last year, with owner Stephen Ross even being granted permission to talk to the disgruntled Houston Texans quarterback. In the end, no trade was consummated amid reports the Dolphins wanted Watson to settle all 22 of his civil lawsuits alleging sexual misconduct before bringing him to Miami. The day after the trade deadline, Greer said exploring the possibility of making a trade for Watson was simply a matter of doing due diligence after a star player became available. Tungavailoa has had an uneven performance since the Dolphins made him the fifth overall pick in the 2020 draft and questions remain as to exactly how high his NFL ceiling is. Even Greer punted on the question when he was asked whether he thinks Tua can be an elite quarterback. I can't say he can't be, Greer said. It's in a situation now where this will be built around his skill set and what the offense can be and Mike's vision of how he fits. So, I wouldn't say he can't be. It's too early. He's played 20 games maybe. The first year was in and out and missing games this year, but I know he's won games even this last year, and it's hard to win games in this league. I know people want to say he doesn't throw the ball downfield, but he's incredibly accurate, and that's the real exciting part for Mike and the coaching staff, his accuracy. Tungavailoa completed 67.8% of his passes last season when he finished with a 90.1 passer rating. I will say Mike and the offensive staff watched every game, every throw and put together this tape of the roster, and it was pretty cool, Greer said. Mike's vision for how Tua fits into this scheme and what he can do, they're all very excited about it. So, I think at the end of the day, probably Tua is going to have to come in and work with him and do it on the field, but right now there's a very good comfort level with how they feel he fits into what Mike wants to do with our offense. New Miami Dolphins head coach Mike McDaniel touched on some specific personnel issues when he conducted his scouting combine press conference at the Indianapolis Convention Center on Wednesday. Specifically, McDaniel was asked and talked about Mike Jasicki, Emmanuel Ogba, the backup quarterback situation and Xavier Howard, this his answer on the last one was part of an inside joke with NFL Network anchor Rich Eisen. How Mike Jasicki fits into the offense. Jasicki is scheduled to become an unrestricted free agent in two weeks and his status has been a major topic of debate, in part because his blocking, um, deficiencies seems to make a less than ideal fit in the expected scheme McDaniel will bring with him from San Francisco. I think there's multiple ways to use players that have skill sets that can help you do things offensively, McDaniel said. We've had tight ends in our history that have been featured pass receivers and we've had featured blockers. On both ends of the system, they are expected and will do both things, majoring or minoring in one or the other, depending on their skill sets. I have no problem, no hesitation or no concern of Mike being able to contribute as a blocker and will use him the way it's most appropriate for him, as well we'll do in the pass game, really. What the Dolphins want in a backup quarterback. The Dolphins signed former CFL and Cardinals quarterback Chris Strevler last week, but he's more of a third quarterback or project than the player who's going to back up Tua Tungavailoa in 2022. As it stands now, the Dolphins have three quarterbacks on the roster, but that number will become two March 16th. I can tell you this much, we are looking for another quarterback, McDaniel said. I've never seen, in the history of the NFL, having two on the roster, and that's very much important to us. You want a player that can help. When you're looking for a number two quarterback, there's two things, you want him to benefit the starting quarterback while the starting quarterback is the starting quarterback and empower him with how they approach their daily game plan responsibilities, how they develop when they're training in the offseason, but you also want a guy that can win games should the starter go down. So, a veteran backup is definitely in our discussions, but it's the best player that we can find in whatever avenue and move forward from there. McDaniel wants Ogba back. Emmanuel Ogba is a priority for the Miami Dolphins, at least that is what we know now. Head coach Mike McDaniel just made that clear. McDaniel was asked about his level of confidence that the Dolphins will be able to bring back Ogba for a third season in 2022. 
As confident as one can be with multiple variables that you can't control, McDaniel said. I'm excited about the guy, I'm excited about the opportunity. I know we want him, we're going to do our best to get him and it's the same thing you have to do any time you have situations such as these. You have to be able to adjust if you're unable to keep him, but our hope is that that is not the case. And if you're texting him right now, looking at a reporter, you can tell him as such. The final question of McDaniel's press conference involved cornerback Xavier Howard and whether he had had meaningful conversations with him. Of course, Howard's contract situation will need to be addressed this offseason, but McDaniel instead took the opportunity to deliver on his promise, in answer though a challenge from Eisen, to come up with three clichés in one statement. First of all, every conversation I have is meaningful, McDaniel began. I'm present, but we've had several great conversations, on the phone and in person. So I'm excited to coach the guy but let's not forget, it is what it is. Me personally, I don't have a crystal ball, but really, the only guys I can talk about are the players that are here today. Upon hearing, it is what it is, I don't have a crystal ball, and, the only guys I can talk about are the players that are here today, Eisen delivered on his own promise and went to the podium to give McDaniel a high five before the Dolphins head coach walked off.